So um, generally, we are going to continue our previous lecture about uh, types of connection. So, and uh, we'll finish uh, today. We'll talk and finish about bolting connection, and uh, maybe we'll start um, <clears throat> speaking about uh, welding connection. So, um, this um, we stopped actually in the previous uh, lesson on this table. So, um, according to this table, uh, we can find information that the bolts can be uh, with the various size. Um, also that uh, holes of the bolts can be various according to the uh, type of the bolt. So um, the um, short uh, stolid holes, actually there are a definition, short uh, stolid holes, um, I used uh, most of all in the um, places with the higher stress. So it is the places uh, which are located in perpendicular uh, direction of the location of the stress. And so uh, most of all, uh, the used the size of the bolts in the uh, construction industry uh, starts uh, from the uh, 20 millimeters in diameter uh, and uh, ends actually in the 30 or 40 so but uh, the size uh, with the more uh, diameters in millimeters are used in the heavy constructions with the huge loads to um, protect them actually from the failure and also thickness of material should be uh, sufficiently enough to use so huge size of the balls like 30 and 40 millimeters and most of uh, them are anchors forward like anchors and are used to uh, connect for example columns with the foundations so these anchors are installed during the <coughs> monolithic works, uh, monolithic works, uh, especially for foundations. So when the fresh concrete is accepted, so there are powering of the concrete, <coughs> they are installed in the position. Uh, <coughs> the position is equal to the position of the drawing of con metal constructions. Uh, and uh, due to the uh, diagrams of the holes in the plate of the column, the basement plate of the column. The basement plate of the column is uh, accepted uh, element. It's accepted according to the calculations. <clears throat> uh, there are some uh, specially designed equipments uh, which are used during the bolting and uh, you can see the var variety of them so uh, most of all it, uh, it is include the spot wrenches um, can be used pins and also uh, the in the left part located uh, vertical um, bars which are mostly used in the simple construction with uh, non so responsible um, structures and build buildings and structures but uh, if uh, there are some uh, uh, special re recommendations according to the uh, forces for nothing as uh, the nuts and bolts so we can can be used the impact ranges located in the central part in the um, picture uh, sometimes uh, when the diameters of the balls is uh, huge uh, there are no ways like to use uh, electrical um, 
devices uh, with uh, compressed air which uh, help to work for impact range and uh, more quickly and with uh, uh, big forces uh, uh, completely finished all um, installa installating works uh, in the uh, construction site. Uh, storage of the components. So, uh, generally, uh, all of the components are, uh, which should be used during the construction uh, can be uh, storage on the construction site, but there are some uh, special recommendations and uh, requirements how it should be actually storage for its safety so uh, first of all they should uh, be protected from the um, air and the open air will be right also uh, there are should be less a uh, number of humidity and moisture uh, in the places of uh, storage uh, also they should be located nearby to the construction site because uh, it is decreased the labor cost and uh, for transportation from one part to another part. Um, for one uh, working day, there should be taken only this, that uh, percentage of uh, from number of uh, installating number of materials that are uh, need for one day because other will be attacked by the air and the right can be found uh, find uh, some problems on it because uh, for example corrosion can quickly begin to um, kill the um, ready materials for the installation so uh, every time uh, the storage places should be protected from the uh, various uh, air conditions like rains, for example, um, from just a simple water. And so it should be uh, good protected from uh, the uh, inside gases if there are someone or they also can negative attack and create uh, surface uh, skin uh, and in future these uh, elements will be uh, added were more quickly than other materials Uh, during installation, the rack can be used to uh, lubrication. Um, it, it is also uh, very important part of using the bolts um, during like installation and during its operational time. So uh, lubrication it is, it should be uh, it should consist the sufficiently enough um, components of the oil uh, and uh, from uh, other water-soluble oil to uh, firstly protect it and uh, second for proper installation. Uh, the uh, features of this uh, using oil is that uh, if the rain need it can be easily washed after exposed uh, to moisture. Uh, why we need it? Um, firstly, it is protected from the dirt and uh, increase it uh, from increasing number of corrosion. So it is one of the uh, important part of protection the walls. 
but there are some uh, variants of the boards which are not uh, should be protected by the uh, lubrication for example the boards with the number uh, 1852 so uh, they are actually can be uh, used in that uh, form and uh, conditions which was given them during the production, so during the manufacturing of them. Uh, <clears throat> galvanized fasteners. So uh, this uh, is the example of uh, bolts which are uh, manufactured by the special requirements uh, and they are uh, require a special uh, storage places that uh, also very important because <clears throat> they are quickly can be killed by the corrosion first of all and the, all parts of these uh, bolts should uh, be uh, located in the one place like a uh, one full element so and then uh, during the assembly they are took uh, from the uh, storage places uh, in the uh, assembly variant so because if there are will be four sweating so this is uh, sweating is a part with the sweets so it can be problem to uh, to put the nut into the sweet so that's why it should uh, be um, actually clean it and uh, put out from the dirty uh, plates so the uh, lubrication on the uh, on this variants of the bolts is the um, more durable in comparing uh, in, in comparing with the other uh, lubrication uh, lubrication forms, um, but in the same time, it is again said that they uh, should be uh, storage very uh, good and the safety but again some of them are not uh, recommended to be galvanized this is the bolts with the higher marks 190 um, production lot uh, lots um, so uh, production, actually, it is uh, the special information about um, materials and according to many standards, uh, it can be found uh, where it was produced and uh, what type of organization was manufactured these bolts, bolts and the other uh, compact variant. So uh, all of uh, of the elements of the bolting should consist of the same information, like you see on the picture, uh, if it is not required. So even it not required, but it should be. So uh, each of the uh, portion of delivery to the construction site should uh, be um, separately saved on the construction site and uh, also it should be um, installed uh, well by using right equipment uh, if it require pretensioning so it should be used the critical joints and uh, this uh, holes for uh, bolts also should be done only on the places of manufacturing not on the construction site and uh, it is not uh, permitted to mixing 
the elements of the balls and mass from the different parts. So from the different uh, delivered uh, portions, so production loads actually. Um, inspection. Uh, as you know, inspection are doing uh, before construction, during the construction, and uh, after construction. So it can be divided into three parts. Uh, in inspection of the bolting, first of all, starts from the uh, visual inspection. So uh, the quality of uh, the also tested the quality of the installator worker the special uh, tests of the all engineering records so they are included in the special uh, journals which are located on the construction site where the uh, installators and the foremans are uh, write about all um, installated bolts, their height, their number, the size, mark of the steel, and the other um, completing materials uh, which was uh, used during uh, the installations of, during the uh, connection of steel elements. Uh, so uh, the local uh, building ins inspection also needs to be done on the construction site because uh, sometimes on the uh, engineering records can be uh, find some errors or mistakes so that's just uh, on looking only through the uh, that notes and uh, that uh, rights, it will be not sufficiently enough. That's why uh, we, you need to make sometimes not only visual inspection but also instrumental inspection. Uh, you need to check the course of nothing, the um, right using uh, equipment, so how inspected and verified uh, the equipment, as there are special certificates of equipment, uh, was they checked last year or not, and uh, so on, because it's very important that the quality of the using equipment um, is right because if it is not right so it can um, create the um, ordinary types of the problem that are not uh, required to find on the construction site inspection for the uh, construction manager um, construction uh, manager uh, in uh, generally uh, are able to uh, check all the construction because he is a responsible person of all construction part. So, and uh, what are uh, his area of uh, his inspection? It is uh, first of all the stick out. So it's a bolt stick out. It is dimension from the nut, the uh, one, the external surface of the nut, uh, to the uh, edge of the sweet bolt. So and there are uh, of course uh, some uh, requirements about this lens. So uh, positive uh, and the zero lens of the stick is can be used on the construction site, but uh, not positive uh, minuses, minus size of 
this lens is not acceptable on the construction site. So it should be not located inside the nuts. According to the uh, recommendations and special regulations of installing the bolting connections. Uh, next, uh, so uh, can be inspected the turn off nut, much uh, marks um, to uh, check how they are pretensioned. So with uh, what number of forces it was pretensioned. Uh, if uh, it is not enough, they can be uh, uh, pretensioned again by using the special equipment. Uh, if there are used some special bolts like 1852 so it should be uh, the, the inspection person should be uh, sh should sure that ends ha uh, have been snapped of all bolts so like uh, you see on the uh, locate the ball picture Uh, bolting cost consideration. So uh, the cost uh, on the uh, connection is a really difficult um, position to compare it because there are various uh, types of connection can be used on the construction site and sometimes only bolting can be used. That's why uh, it so it means that uh, all connections are used on the construction site uh, should be uh, taken into account like uh, for example erectors uh, they are used uh, only one types of the bolts uh, and uh, not other for example which maybe will be more uh, convenient and more uh, cheaper and easier to installate but sometimes they are used more effectively maybe uh, according to the uh, position of safety and stability both um, also <clears throat> the uh, snug tiny joints can be effectively uh, and uh, more economical uh, Effectively, in comparison with the traditional bolts, uh, slip critical joints is uh, in comparison with the other connections is the most costly, and it applied only uh, when there are some special uh, recommendations and regulations to use it. And other times, can be used the uh, only snug tight and joints. So, uh, if uh, it is actually was the all um, maybe general, maybe the most important information about uh, welding, about types of oh, oh, sorry, bolting, about type of the bolts, about uh, how it should be checked, so what type of equipment needs to be used to uh, installate uh, the bolting connection. So some economical information, some uh, inspection information was given to you to increase your uh, general understanding about this type of uh, connection. So uh, do you have uh, actually some maybe questions about bolting connection so maybe some of information was difficult to understand and now you want to ask it um, or understand more deeply
considerable the questions uh, will uh, share time to uh, the answers on it. Students? No, we haven't. Oh, okay. No, I haven't too. So uh, everything is clear. I think um, the bopping, uh, you have uh, um, meet the information about bolting, uh, information about the calculation of the bolting in your course project. So uh, there you should accept the number of the bolts, the size of the bolts, the dimension between the bolts, and the so other information, the mark of the bolts and so on. So it's a not new information to you. That's uh, why I'm talking about importance of the practical lessons, because only on practical lessons we can uh, sense this uh, difficulty about uh, accepting the number of bolts and finding how it accepted and so on. Because who are not uh, know the theoretical part, how it accepted, it, uh, it is very difficult to create the calculations, to create analysis of the uh, bolting connection and so on. Because you need to understand all main principles, all main ways, uh, how you need to finish uh, right calculation of the node. Because calculation of the node is uh, one of the important calculation of all steel constructions in the building. Uh, okay, um, what about welding? So, um, welding uh, in general, it is alternative uh, to the bolting connection and the rivet connection. So, bolting is, uh, or welding may be, is um, in some cases more popular than uh, bolting connection. Um, according to its simplicity. It can be done not only on the, uh, so prepare it. For example, bolt, bolts can be produced only on the special uh, plants. Uh, welding, so welding actually, if the welding are uh, shop welding, of course it should be done on the special uh, shops, but it can be field welding. So, and uh, if you have no bolts, the uh, field welding is uh, um, one of the best si and uh, simple way how to connect some constructions between each other. Um, so uh, I told you that uh, the uh, welding divide into the shop and the field connection. Uh, really, uh, the information about that many uh, fabrication shops prefer welding than bolting. Uh, again, according to the simplicity of welding. So, uh, and uh, it can be easier controlled on the special shops. All parameters can be controlled. And the most important thing that uh, on the shops, fabrication shops, um, welding the process of welding is controlled by not by the people it controlled by the computers by the special mechanisms that's why they prefer to use um, welding uh, to bolt because bolting is are used only by the erectors by the workers and uh, um, it means that the sometimes quality is the open question because it should be every time checked by the inspection. Um, welding actually have some features and also some uh, disadvantages. It means that not everywhere and every time welding can be used. So if there are not uh, possible due to many reasons, uh, weather reasons, the difficulty of uh, installation and so on, on the construction side, so, so requirements are not 
uh, give permission to use this type of connection, of course, it will be not used. And so designers and uh, uh, other uh, engineers, including into the installation, should be accept, uh, should accept another way of connection. Um, what else? So there are uh, several uh, types of welding according to the types, according to the position uh, of the weld and so on. So we'll discuss about uh, each of them um, actually in the next uh, slides. Structural welding. Um, Structural welding. Uh, so, mm, common method it is uh, okay. Here, yeah, structural welding. Yes. Uh, structural welding is uh, one of the common method of uh, connection accepted on the construction site. Uh, it can um, connect not only main construction between each other, but so additional uh, metal pieces for connecting other constructions. So uh, it connected uh, by uh, heating the edges of two elements, connecting elements. And the, after the heating, uh, the elements became uh, creating in a liquid mass and this uh, hot mass after cooling connected these elements between each other. Um, despite like it can uh, seem that uh, this uh, seam, so welding seam should be um, in comparison according, uh, with the traditional metal which are produced on the special plants should be less um, quality, um, should be uh, not so strong, but uh, the welding part, welding seams, they are more stronger than uh, just a simple material. So that's why welding is, according to quality, can be uh, really on the uh, higher position. Uh, in comparison with the other two variants of connection, welding and rivets. Uh, terminology. So uh, when we're speaking about uh, welding, we need to know some of the uh, special vocabulary words. Track weld, both left. So uh, track weld is the welding which are accepted uh, in the places with the not uh, final uh, welding. So it suggests to put the construction into ready position, in the right position, according to the verticality, horizontality. Uh, so when it will be checked, when uh, it will, construction will be ready, can be used as a method of connecting. So it suggests uh, uh, a little hold temporary parts to um, put construction into the ready position. Continuous weld, uh, actually uh, continuous weld, it is a weld which starts from the one part of construction and uh, ends on the other part of construction. So through all the lengths of the construction, it connected in uh, all um, dimension of this element, continuously connected yes, without any free spaces. And the stitch weld above the right. So a stitch weld, it is a welding with the ordinary size, with the ordinary lens, with a special distance between uh, each other. So um, 
in general, the lens of the welding is acceptable um, unit. So it's accept not on the construction side. It is accept on the uh, special cons constructors, um, constructor organizations, where the uh, engineers, where the calculator person uh, finds the requirement lens of the welding and uh, divide it into all total lengths if it is not continuous weld. So it means the stitch weld can be applied in that places where it will be enough to use not continuously weld. So there are no reason to use continuous weld because the um, quality viewing capacity of the stitch weld will be sufficiently enough to carry out the uh, design and delivery. That's very important because the uh, switch weld is decreased the uh, overall um, labor cost of the welding, uh, decrease the time of uh, welding and uh, decrease the uh, construction time and the construction expenses on on the welding. So uh, on the picture you can find the uh, location uh, positions of uh, of uh, the location of two metal pieces and so how they can be connected relatively to one other. So